The wonderful thing about your blood is that it tells the story of where you're at right now. It gives the physician so much information that they can work with to make sure that you are heading towards the best outcome. Of course, you're gonna want to know what your blood count is. Also, what is your iron status? One of the concerns that we had is the late or delayed referrals to our clinic where we don't have enough time to manage those patients before their delivery. We hope to identify and close this gap early on during pregnancy and to provide the optimal treatment. This is a risk that we can modify. Um, many things we can't. We can't change the age of a woman when she got pregnant. We can't change her family history. This one can be. Oh, pregnant women, whenever they present to the hospital for prenatal consultation, they should know the level of hemoglobin. It's really important to check the blood count early in pregnancy because there's quite a lot of women out there who are used to being iron deficient and they think how they feel is normal. We definitely need to check the levels early on and then if the iron is low, we need to monitor the situation to check that the anemia is getting better. Uh, so the blood tests really to help pick them out and then treat them properly. Normal hemoglobin does not necessarily mean that you're not iron deficient. Ask for those iron studies, ferritin level, iron and iron binding capacity. And same type of blood sample, and those are the three studies that will give you the answers. To I learned the importance of doing those blood tests. Those blood tests are life-changing and they're life-saving. So with that, I have to make my checkups a big deal. I can step up for myself, advocate for myself. There's no playing around that anymore.